Thanks, Max. Well, after two decades, the Sabine Pass Lighthouse Hayride made its return. It was a fun day for families, but as Stephanie Obadiku reports, every dollar raised will help bring the lighthouse back to its former glory. For almost 200 years, the Sabine Pass Lighthouse has stood tall, surviving war and dozens of natural disasters. It guided ships until it decommissioned in the 1950s. Turning into a hayride trail for locals, Hurricane Rita made the trail unusable until now. The last time was in 2004. We actually had planned to have one in 2005, but we had Hurricane Rita. So we decided to bring it back on our 20th anniversary. Uh, we are raising awareness and funds for the Sabine Pass Lighthouse to restore the tower. The hayride tours went on for years before the abrupt end in the early 2000s. It was even difficult to access the area surrounding the lighthouse following the devastation of those hurricanes. People's minds were on other things, and we had an access issue, so we couldn't, and it's, it's kind of a tight space down here, you know. Uh, so we finally had the road a little bit more improved, so we're able to have uh, at least a fair bit of people down here. President of the Cameron Preservation Alliance, Andrew Tingler, says that the purpose of this organization is to improve the area by keeping the history alive. So we should save the few that we have left. It's no different than saving a building in, say, downtown Lake Charles or downtown Beaumont or wherever. It, it is an important structure that deserves a chance to, to stick around. The Lighthouse Restoration Project has already been in the works for years now, but the progress in the lighthouse has already begun. A pathway has been cleared on land and a few steps have already been installed. Now people from out of state and even out of the country are able to stop by and see some of these improvements on this historical building. In Cameron, Stephanie Obdiku, 7 News. And if you want to see the lighthouse for yourself, tours are offered by the Cameron Parish Tourism Commission. We've got their information on our website for you at kplctv.com.